Hello, everyone. Hey, ever see Medina? Thanks for subbing. Which you did. Over on. Someday I'm gonna figure out where to click to find out where what's happening. Oh, okay, on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ever see Medina. And uh, my cat no followed uh, seven minutes ago. Thanks. Thanks, my cat no. Here we are. Look at this. We're uh, we're nearing nearing the landing zone finally. Just noticed uh, when I posted a video on Instagram that this little door has not been painted. For those of you who don't know, this is a sculpture that is, in theory, going to be printed in a full color sandstone printer. I don't know, it's probably not officially called a sandstone printer, but that's the, the print that comes out feels like it was carved from sandstone. initial mesh for this was created by a guy named Jeff from 3D Retro Designs and he was looking for someone to add color to it artistically so that he could uh, print it from a new color printer that he's getting and not have to hand paint all of his pieces because that's what he's been doing thus far. Okay, so I think the main thing I'm gonna do is just the paths. Um, yeah, I, as I've said many times here, I am torn because I'm, uh, the map was neither a perfect representation of the actual game map nor is it a perfect representation of the mini-map. The mini-map is the one that it's supposed to be the most based on because this is designed to be printed between, I think, five and eight inches. Fairly small-ish. Um, and so there are features that it has that are, you know, it, the, the biggest difference would be, say, the, the Lost Woods up here, right? It's just like this big block of trees. Whereas in the actual game... Um, oh, look at that, I can't... There we go. You know, there's all this, this the maze of uh, Lost Woods. So, and then there's diff there's weird differences, like the color between the, the roofs. Like on the mini-map, they're all red. Even though some of the houses are blue, it's just kind of a, you know, oh, and this tower just looks nothing like the one in the game. Um, but, uh, you know, the one in the game is like this ziggurat looking thing. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, so I've been kind of just making my best, my best guess at what will work best for the print, what works best just as a nice little art piece sitting there on your desk. Um, and so the, the I'm at the point now where I've got to figure out the, the little um, roads, paths and such. And um, it's tricky. Hey, Van Morta. Best box. I don't know your reference there. Um... Yeah, so the village on the mini-map here is just kind of ridiculous. It's, look at this, there's like a little snippet of cobblestone road here, one here, like, the, and then there's like a dirt road that, it does. it just doesn't make any sense at all. 
especially when you compare it to what is actually going on here. Ugh. So anyway, yeah, I, my main concern is like, what's gonna look cool sitting on your desk? So I, I think having most of the paths closer to um, what's in the actual game is better. And so I'm just gonna kind of go with that for now. Oh, right, you always bounce around as a gift box, that's right. Everyone calls you best box. It's stuck. Fair enough. Uh, this desert sure is messy. The, uh... hmm. Look at that, there's this little patch of green down there. Um, so I'm kind of feeling like with this desert, here's a chance to do something a little different than just like, you know, textured brown. I could do like actual little dunes. I thought it might be a fun approach to that. Make it feel more deserty. So I'm gonna see if I have any, um, pattern stamps in my library that are duny looking some of these probably would work if scaled way up which I could totally do Rocks and Cracks 45. Let's give that one a shot. on it. Oh, yeah. Tapping on it blurs it. Okay, and then I'm dragging off of it. Oh, no. Tapping off of it inverts it. There we go. So now we have just that selected. Uh, also, I have this only on color. I need to put it Actually, gonna turn the color down quite a bit. Okay, 
so that's doing the color opposite of what I want. Dottie B, hello, welcome. How you doing, Dottie? diagonal flow to it that I'm trying to trying to do. Um, probably one problem is it should not be white. It should be a light yellow. Yeah, that helps. Uh, turn down the color a little bit more. Glad to hear it. I'm doing pretty well myself. I'm on a, on a, let's see. What is the emotion where you're anticipating that soon you're gonna have, you're gonna be done with something that you've been working on a long time and you're really excited to get to that point, but you're not quite there yet. Whatever that emotion is, that's what, that's what I'm feeling. our first books out there. Oh, that reminds me. I was going to see if I could get a booth at NorwestCon. I always show art at NorwestCon. I reserve a table at the art show. But um, that's just like put your art there and leave. I want to do like they do at conventions where you're at your booth talking to people. Um, and so the way to do that is to be in the... I don't know what that room is called. It's where you buy, like, stuff. So they've got, like, arts and crafts stuff there. They've got booksellers there. They've got... I think that's mostly what they've got. Those two things. Um, this is at the, our local um, sci-fi and fantasy convention. Um, I would love to have a table there and sell my book and uh, promote this you know twitch stream and my youtube channel and just sit there and do art that always attracts people and it's fun to talk to people about what i'm working on uh, but i need to i need to talk to people that that's coming up in april yeah that looks really good i like this i like this deserty dune thing yeah i did something i like Yay! Yeah, in fact, let me. I'm going to start an email right now to my contact there. He's the he's the art show contact, but I'll bet he knows what the other um, who the other people are I need to talk to. Uh, yeah, okay. And it's now sitting in my outbox, so I can't forget it. Wooden potatoes! Hey, man, how you doing? Is this, is this the real wooden potatoes? World famous from across the pond wooden potatoes? Uh, do you often struggle to know when to stop? Oh, God. 
Stop? What is, what is this word? Stop. Ha <laughs> ha. Stop. I'll show you stop. I'll never show you stop. I don't don't know the meaning of the word. Uh, here's what I do. I give myself homework, which is um, play X, uh, you know, I actually, I don't give myself a specified amount of time, but I do say, hey, you love Hand of Fate. Hand of Fate 2 came out. Play it for its own sake for the next couple weeks. Like whenever you have, you know, generally what it comes down to is when my, my wife and kid aren't using the TV and I'm home by myself, which happens, I don't know, maybe a couple hours a week, uh, play that game. Play it. Just play it for its own sake. Don't think about writing about it. Don't, uh, you know, don't do all the things I normally do. Just play it for art's sake. And so having that kind of as homework uh, helps. I need to do that more with films as well. Oh God, you're lurking. You're always lurking. Always behind the back. When, when is Wooden Potatoes looking through the window? Van Moore says, I lurk a lot on your YouTube stuff myself. Shifty eyes. Hey, Aletha. Uh, my mom's coming by uh, probably in about an hour-ish. And we're going to do some... Um, some more Talifar development. I'm not sure what yet. Either we're going to move on to the ZBrushing uh, concept phase for the crab people we were talking about last time she was here. Uh, we might show some live uh, argumentative editing where, you know, I've, I've gone through the book and made my edits and then she tells me, well, okay, honestly, 95% of the time it's like, yeah, that makes sense. But 5% when she's like, well, why would you do that? Uh, that's great. So hopefully we can capture some of that. I swear I was missing more grass texture somewhere and now I can't find it. Now that I've transferred my brush into a grass texture, your mom is a lot more interesting than you are. You know, how would, how would the source be less interesting than the derivative, right? It makes sense. Um, back to the knowing when to stop question, when it comes to an, like a, a piece such as this, um, I just have the constant pressure of having like 10 other things that I'm also juggling and have goals and ambitions for. So I think it's kind of a Darwinian process in my brain. It's like, Okay, is this at the point where when I let it go into nature, into the into the wider world, it's not going to collapse under the pressure of scrutiny? And um, so what I do is I'll, I'll try to role play in my head like what someone who didn't make it is thinking when they see it. And, you know, when I pull back and look at it at this thousand foot view, it's like, I think 90% of people who look at this are going to be like, whoa, that's so awesome, that's great. And any amount of stuff that I put in after this point, it's going to be just a smaller and smaller portion of people who will appreciate or even notice it, right? So I'm definitely at that winding down phase right now. Definitely I know when I'm, when I'm editing video, like I'll do, I'll do, you know, jokes that require, you know, finding media, capturing said media, editing the media in, or, um, you know, just, just fancy time consuming editing stuff that that's funny to me. Uh, I, I, I kind of just have this quota 
for myself, it's like, eh, do two or three of those a video and you're fine. Uh, once you start doing more than that, it's like, mm, wasting time. Thanks, Aletha. Aletha says, when she's here, please don't ignore chat. You two tend to tune us out, and that makes me sad. Yeah, that's a tricky balance. Me? Uh, no, my mom. Oh. Your dad just left. Oh, are they he just close? Had a short visit. Uh, he didn't say anything about that. Okay. Yeah, tricky balance to be able to talk to everyone at the same time you're talking to someone, especially when you're like doing creative work. Uh, wooden potatoes says finding and sourcing stuff constantly is so tedious. Yes. Uh, Spiral Art says, is this something you'll be 3D printing? Uh, yeah, this is. Um, there's a guy named Jeff who has a little company he calls 3D Retro Art, I think. And if someone wants to post a link to that, that'd be awesome. Um, he just bought a three a color 3D printer, which is like the size of a small car. And I don't even want to know how many thousands of dollars. I wouldn't be surprised if it's in like the size well of a above small car. Ten thousand, yeah. Oh. Like those little those little uh, smart cars. It's about that size. <laughs> it's crazy pants. So you have to have it. You definitely have to have like a two car garage. <laughs> Pretty much. At least. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, he he did the base mesh for this in um, Minecraft. So yeah, this used to be a Minecraft map and I've just been going through and texturing it um, and modeling it and then hopefully it gets uh, 3d printed in all its glorious color and it will be beautiful Alita says hi hi and Ben Mort appreciates the uptick in your voice when you said me Oh. <laughs> She's a natural performer. I just got done performing. That's true. Oh my gosh. It was a crap show. Didn't sound that bad from what I heard. See, that's the thing. I do not know how. Like, I didn't even have keys. We're supposed to be there ready to go by 8, right? Mm -hmm. Well, Kenny, the drummer, got sick, so we had no drummer. Okay. And then um, Pan's friend, who's a, he plays bass, like he's a professional. He's really good too, like he came. See you, Wooden Potato, thanks for dropping by. Continue. See, I'm driving people away. Yeah, you're driving, driving the British away. <laughs> but like, so he was there, but then like, um, we had Pam main singer, and then we had like three backup singers, who also, two of the girls led different songs, but like, and it was like Pam on electric guitar. Okay. And it would have been nicer if she had her acoustic, but she didn't because her acoustic had an issue was and is in the shop. So it was electric guitar, bass, and keys. And I was able to figure out how to like split the keyboard again. And so okay. at least I had like I was able and and I don't. I mean, I had to turn that thing off and restart it over and over because I don't know how to get out of these things. Like, this keyboard makes no sense. It's it's a studio, but it's a board. And it makes... It's a keyboard, but it's literally a full-on studio if you understood how what the manual meant. So right. anyway, so I'm like... So I figure out how to, like, split it up and then split the key so I have two different sounds, but then I can run the synth sound, like, in the background, like... Ooh, yeah. You know? But it, then I was able to figure out how to lower it down so I could get lower notes of the piano keys. Because mm -hmm. otherwise it starts at middle C with the and you're like, no, 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 I need that. I don't need, I need that in piano. I don't need that in synth, right? Yeah. So anyway, I was able to do that. I don't know how, but really the problem is the keyboard, it, like the monitors and stuff, like every time we come in there, something's different and we have no idea what happened to the stage. But I didn't even have keys till uh, nine, oh, like 
9.30ish. Wow. Yeah, it was almost 9.30. And, and we're supposed to be eating breakfast at that in church, so it's been, it was um, insane. And we only went through each song once. Mm -hmm. And then, like, once we finally got my keys, like, changed and switched channels and all this stupid stuff, whatever, then somebody else's monitor went out, but we don't even know why. So there is clear, there's a, something wrong with the system right now. Mm -hmm. But who knows? It sucks that the whole thing goes underneath. <laughs> so anyways, I don't know how we pulled it off, but we did. And, yeah, congrats. Um, I don't know, gosh, I, I just want to show up one day and just feel that. Yeah, and and why was this laundry room Why was it, why were all these cords unplugged and then tangled up and then re like? Who came in and did all that work? It's already plugged in, perfect. All you do is plug your instrument in and go. The like, answer is the Russians, of course. <laughs> well, <laughs> the, it, we it's have always this, the Russians. Well, we have several. It's Belarus, but we have several of them. Conchie Jason says, it always takes me 45 minutes, multiple Google searches, and emotional support to split my keyboard. We should start a club. <laughs> I know. It's, you like, you're like, oh my gosh, I did it. Wait, no, the sounds are switched. And you're like, but why? I didn't, I don't even know. I don't understand. And so all I did was take a picture of the, all the keys, <laughs> all the lights. So I know that those lights have to be lit up. And then I did a close up shot of the sound and it's still, even though I think I can, I can reproduce how I split it, it doesn't make sense. If that makes sense. <laughs> makes sense. That doesn't make sense. There, it, there's no, it's madness. It's so. So I'm taking off this path right here because the only way to get the path to meet up here is to make it way more organic than the super flat. You can see, like, there's just this line of path that goes across all the way to this house. And the way Jeff laid out the map, it just doesn't match up. So it's like, I can either make the path do a weird stair-steppy thing that it definitely doesn't do in the game, or I could curve it, which it definitely doesn't do in the game. So... Is there a little hill? It's it just this copse of trees, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's just... Maybe it climbs a tree. Maybe, you know, I accidentally drew the path over the tree, so there you go. that's an option. Wintermute is following. Hey, thanks, Wintermute. Is Pat following? So you can ask him if Kelly has his book. I don't think so. stressing me out, like, putting these paths in places <laughs> that make sense for the map, but also work with mini-map, which has just ridiculous random roads, and makes sense with the game. Uh, every decision is wrong. Eric Bow, hey, thanks for following, Eric Bow. Just give up. Oh, okay. My uh, professional advisor has just advised me to just give up. I think 
I'm just gonna I'm just gonna free my mind and just do it as randomly as I need to and then look at it big picture afterwards when you're rich you want a really big yard to be that map oh that'd be pretty amazing did I just get black stuff on my nose I don't see anything yep that's my new motto just give up uh, how do you say Nike backwards that should be the name of my company Eakin. Eakin. just give up It's just to just to evoke we're just trying to evoke the feelings of the memories of playing through the game we are not trying to create an environment that is 100% identical to it remember that breathe just breathe you and Shania Twain yep. just breathe that's not Shania so. whatever I tried who's just breathe do you know what, who, this is? I don't know where this came from. I have no idea. It looks like, like something my parents would have brought with them. Or I feel like maybe Shane took it out when he was going through stuff, the pictures. I'm going to go through this stuff. So every time I bend over, I feel like I'm like, I can't. I feel like I'm going to fall over. And maybe stop bending over then. And apparently I was having, whoopsie, I had like a really crazy bloody nose, like last night. Mm -hmm. and, I, and then like, I just hope I don't have a sign section. I think I might actually have one. Oh. And that's why I'm so like off-centered, off-balance. I've always been a little off-centered and off-balance. And maybe I'm normal. Country Jason says it's a bold Zelda taste with link to the past aftertaste and a hint of hickory. Uh, yeah, I'd accept that review. Okay, I gotta do something special with these paths. They're, I can't just can't just paint them on. I would not be able to live with myself. I figured out how to pull these off. Oh, good. Ooh. Finally, if anyone can pull it off, you can pull it off. Okay, so I think probably what I want to do. Oh, you know what I should do? I should just um, do these little grassy mounds around it so they look like ruts in the ground. Seventy-six. Welcome. How you doing today? You sound like that voice off of Oblivion, the 
How are you guys Are doing you a today? functioning couple or whatever, something like that? Are you an affected couple? Hmm. You know, if people just decided to be like, instead of, I want to be perfect at this, blah, blah, blah. If people just managed expectations of themselves, whatever, to be like, are you an effective just be effective, right? Mm -hmm. I wonder what that would look like. And that would be easier. Maybe it'd chill out some stress. It wasn't perfect, blah, 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 but it was effective. Like, you know what? Yeah. It still works. Uh, it gets back to what Wooden Potatoes was, was talking about. Like, yeah, that's a really good uh, lens to step back and look at your, your art, let's say. Oh, well, my art. I was not speaking of art. Well, your art is effective like you take photos with your cell phone and edit them in really fun creative ways and they're taken from fun creative vantage points and they're effective like are they technically masterpieces probably not hey watch it buddy <laughs> but people love them so it's like yeah, that's effective people but they might just not know better yeah that's fine <laughs> But they're also, see again though, no one's actually buying anything, so I would say... You also haven't actually tried to sell anything. Well, fine. Consider you know, that. Honey, details, details. I'm still clearing out what happened with computer. Is your mom going to try to stream when she gets here? Yeah, I'm going to stream with her when she gets here. Okay, so I have to You have to what? Uh, no. Yeah, I need to get this stuff all cleared up. I have to see all my art that I have not done yet. No, I'm just gonna move the thing out and she's gonna sit right here. I know, but I need to do it anyways. That's why I'm it's sitting annoying because slightly it's over. a project that I started to do and then I like lost. I don't know, I just. I don't know what else to do. Although I could just sit down and just start doing it and then. Then you find out what Alita says, what? Heather's photos are totally masterpieces. There you go, hon. It's official. Okay, Alita, then you can sell it. <laughs> if you get on that thing. Alita, can you You're just open books. a gallery and sell Heather's pieces? You're selling books. Well, I mean, actually, you know, we bought, you bought the URL for me. Or the, whatever. That's true. We have heatherstings.com. So I'm going to... It's still a process because I just want to do it right, but that is probably the problem. But mm -hmm. um, to be for getting pictures up, we want to be able to know where I'm going with it, right? So, and for some reason, like, whatever reason, I've had transferring from Mac, from like old, old Mac, some of those files, like the pictures duplicated, going to the MacBook or whatever. Not mm -hmm. all of them, but I'm having to go through and clear out my computer so it actually works when I edit stuff instead of because either it's just because there's not enough working memory or there's something wrong with the graphic card which means money and we don't want that and it gets really hot so I've cleared a lot but I just want to get that stuff in order before I start loading but I guess I could start working on a website but I don't want to have to start working on a website without it actually having it ready to launch you know what I mean but, but that's you remember how long I worked on my website before it was ready to launch well no, no no but the thing is because it's a template and stuff it'll be it's easier for me to do that than just do the work that I need to do no they're not gonna shoot mm -hmm. they can't do that because it honestly it's painful looking at the computer forever everything is bye Ben Morda have fun getting a new, can you get a new computer for Heather too while you're out <laughs> I don't need a new computer I just need like a new body
I make a lot of noise, by the way, guys, so. Oh, Van Morta, you were saying she should go get one. You're happy with her gaming rig? Okay. I mean, technically, it's not a, it's not a bad computer. It's just, I, I've never used a backup drive, and I'm starting to. I take a ton of pictures. That's actually my problem. Way too many freaking pictures. Where? Stop I was being so just prolific. looking at scissors. I know they're like right in front of my face. Oh, I hate that. I think this is maybe it was the kitchen I saw them. Hold it. A lot of places have payment plans. Yeah. Okay. I would not do that unless I was super desperate. <laughs> in our house just mysteriously vanish? Well, I mean, it's just a, it's just stupid because I know it's just staring at a pair. <laughs> and it's like, not there anymore. And you know they're just like laughing behind my back right now. Yeah. They're like letting me laughing idiot. scissors. She don't know. Motorcycle license on Saturday and Sunday. Getting payments on that sucker. Ugh. Motorcycle is scary. Yeah. Please don't die. I need your moral support in the stream. So drive your motorcycle very slowly. And if anyone asks why you're going three miles an hour, say, I have to be there for Josh Foreman's live stream. They'll understand. Can't die. Must live for Josh. This is the sort of thing that I get caught up doing where I look at the map from a distance and I'm like, oh man, I'm like 99% done. I'm going to finish this sucker today. And then I end up going around every little line. Moral support and viewership on channel. Yep, that's what's important. I'm gonna go relax and have me time. Current guild leader isn't happy with me. Uh oh, because you're having me time? Would your guild leader be happier to know that you're spending your me time supporting the brilliant Josh Foreman? Or would that make them more upset? I don't know. Training people for missions. How dare you?
Oh, Demo Rose. Sorry, I missed you saying hi. How's it going? This Minecraft based map. If it is, it's much more refined than the last time I was here. Uh, yep, this is the one. It's, uh, it's hopefully almost done. Black Florin just subscribed. Thanks, Black Florin. No, Blake. Blake Florin. I'll get it. Uh, they subscribed over on the YouTubes. Thank you. Thank you. That's why I don't do big guilds. I like to do my own thing. And I don't like rules being imposed on me. Well, what you should do is start your own guild so you can impose your rules on other people. It's hard when you've been part of it since Guild Wars 1 days. Wow, that is a hardcore guild right there. through a lot of guild drama and wow I'm done with that stuff <laughs> yeah I always save the drama for my mama she appreciates it okay. is that all the path I think so yeah Your mom. People are yelling. They must be checked out in the room. How did it start ringing? Oh, wow, yeah. I hear it now. Ben Morty, you're on a break. It's good to be needed uh, more than you need the other. Sometimes. On the other hand, there's something lovely about um, needing someone more than they need you as well. It's a, quite an inversion of the power dynamic, and if you're emotionally capable of handling it, there's beauty in there. a video on my Facebook page the other day about solo players and online games. Is it making fun of them? Yeah, if I was gonna like seriously play another MMO besides Guild Wars, I would probably play um, the uh, Sky, not Skyrim, you know, the one that's like Skyrim, but an MMO. Mercy or Destiny? No. Um, Skyrim. Yes. That's exactly like Skyrim. Uh, one of the really devs from Swotor explaining it and how to design it and around it. Ah, uh, okay. The Elder Scrolls Online. That's the one. Thank you, Demo Rose. Anyway. You win this time. Uh, 
I want to also dig the paths down deep. You know what I could do is like a spray. Turn it way down. Density. So it turns out this is supposed to go in the dispenser. it's the color is the problem. So let's get a lighter color. darken Drizzle says, hello, just saw this on Twitter. Very nice. Oh, thank you, Drizzle. Thanks for stopping by and checking it out. Demo Rose says, I always come back to Guild Wars 2, always. Oh, that's nice. I appreciate that. That's, uh, that's how I get to uh, feed my family. Mm -hmm. uh, Spiral Art says, man, ever since Elder Scrolls Online came out on beta, that's been the only game I play now. Lol. Most of my side projects are ESO fan art too. Wow, you're into it, huh? That's cool. I, I feel like I'm into the idea of it more than I'm actually into it, if that makes sense. Like, I like the idea of... You know what, here's what it would be. If they could get ESO on the Switch, and then I could just like play it in bed casually, that, that would get me. Fortunately, no one's figured out how to put an MMO on a Switch. I was so excited about um, Skyrim coming to Switch until they released it at $60 and kept it at $60 forever. It was like, what, you, this is a, what year did it come out? Is it 2011? It's like that, that's just, there's just something that rubs me so wrong about that. I mean, it shouldn't. It's the, their game. They worked hard on it. They could charge what they want for it. But man, they, I cannot pay $60 for that game again. Pan Mortis says, I like the movement in GW2. Every time I go play Swartor, I feel like a brick. Yeah, they're a little more of that, like, oldie-fashioned MMO where you stand in, in a place and execute skills. Rather than, uh, darting back and forth like a gnat executing skills. <laughs> I prefer the gnat approach. Oh, and our power's flickering, so wish us luck. Uh, huh, but the modem didn't turn off. That's cool. All right, well, if I go away, you guys, it's because uh, winter has decided to come to Northwest. 
which means wind, which means all the giant trees around here knock into all the power lines, which are delicately draped around them. And everyone forgets how to drive them. Yeah, people forget how to drive. They forget what water on the road is. Skyrim is 2011, yeah? Alita says, I think these pads look good as they are. Demo Rose says, everything feels so fluid in GW2. Yeah, we worked really hard to make combat fluid in GW2. That was, that was not easy. Tell you what. Why release a new game when you can release an old game? Yeah, exactly. Letha says, don't lose power, I wanna see your mom. I agree, that would, that would suck if she got here and then uh, the power went out. has a tiny little photographer inside of it, right? That's how it takes pictures? Mm -hmm. I crawl inside. Right. And then, you know. Alita says, adding that uh, kind of darker brown also looks really good, though. Okay, good. I'm glad I didn't just ruin it. Um, what, one of the things that I mentioned before is that my experience with uh, the, th the color 3D printing is that you need to really exaggerate your colors, make them way more saturated and contrasty than you actually want them, because the the printing inks or whatever just aren't as powerful as you would want. Oh, and I didn't finish doing all of these guys. Ooh, has anyone joining us ever? taken one of their uh like photographs that they've like that you've shot right but i uh, had it printed on metal mm -hmm. and if so were there any things that you're like oh i wish somebody had told me that before you did that like yeah it's an expensive thing to experiment with because i want to do it but i kind of want to do black and white i there's something about the colors and i don't you know because I feel like every painting or photo that you see printed out on metal, it all has the same kind of, I like saturated color, but not those colors. And so I don't know if it's like that's all the options that you have when you do that. Or if I'm making sense. <laughs> Chances of anyone in the chat right now having printed on metal is probably pretty low. But it's worth worth asking. Or if you've known anyone. Winter Minute says, Yes, good, this is good. Alan says hi. Josh and Heather. Hello, Alan. Hello. 
How are the rat babies? I was thinking of them the other day. We're always thinking of your rat babies. They're so cute. Minute. Uh, and, uh, how's, how's Pickle's toy? Did, are, are you getting Pickle something special? I assume you're doing that because you want to establish to the other rats that Pickle is your favorite. Probably. That's the best thing any parent can do in general, so. Yeah. Everybody has favorites. I mean, sometimes, some kids are just easier for a while until they're like 30. Yeah, that's, that's my backup pa password uh, <laughs> question is who is your least favorite child? You won't tell them. <laughs> Winter Minutes is so cute. I had to take pick Pickle to the vet because he lost 20% body weight very suddenly. Oh no! Uh, that's scary. 20% off a rat. That doesn't leave much rat left, does it? Uh, how's he doing now? Seems okay. Treating for... Giardia? I do not know what that is. Aletha says rats are great pets. How many rats have you had in your day, Aletha? I feel like you guys usually had a rat around the house for many, many years. At least one. Sometimes more. Alon's on the couch with all three of them climbing all over her. <laughs> so that is awesome. I could see how that would either be like a like if you posted that online like you'd have half people that would be all like a fetish for them and half people would be the whatever the opposite like just so grossed out and disturbed so it could be horror slash fetish i think it's fun when rats are crawling all over me they tickle they're so they're curious and they're just darting everywhere that makes sense. yeah little noses Sniffing everything. Hey, Van Warda, thanks for 50 extra cents. I'll definitely get a super cheap coffee with no creamer with that. That is first on my list of things to get. I'm probably going to have to travel like 300 miles to get to a diner that sells coffee for 50 cents, but... The world's greatest coffee. <laughs> the world's greatest coffee. Like Elf? Yep. At some point, we have to go to the uh, the Snoqualmie, or is it Snoqualmie? What's the lodge uh, from um, Twin Peaks? Because yeah. they have the best, best damn cup of coffee, damn fine cup of coffee. I think that's what it is. Oh, five more cents? <laughs> nice. I could get the extra small coffee for 55 cents. The extra small coffee? <laughs> Thanks, Van Morde. That's very heartwarming. Demo Rose says, how much is a coffee in Seattle? Uh, well, let's see. Heather's a barista. How much is a coffee in Seattle? You, well, you can't just say a coffee. It's like, well, yeah. what kind of coffee? Exactly. I, I'm assuming just like a drip. Just a... Well, I haven't worked at Starbucks for almost a year because I'm on sabbatical. Okay, but back but when you worked, I would say it's like two sixty. Two sixty for a vente. Oh wait, what's a vente? Is that but, large? Okay, sixteen ounces would be like a medium. So I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Sorry. The answer know. is she doesn't know. She's very focused on something right now. 
It's like two thirty in Ireland. Okay. Again, the prices blah 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 for these shoes. It's been a while. Oh, how much is something I enjoy in Seattle? Uh, I don't enjoy anything in Seattle. I hate Seattle. I never go there unless I have to. Um, Which, basically, we go there, um, like, for your work Christmas party. Yeah, we go there for the Christmas party. Which is fun when and we just, and Byron are there, but yeah. all the other times I'm like, what, wait, what's going on? What's the point? <laughs> Are these people? I am very lost. I feel so weird right now. Uh, we went to a baby's birthday party in Seattle yesterday. That was cute. Little baby Kepler. He's a cutie. Hey, Demo Rose. Thank you. We just got 300 pennies, so we could totally afford a coffee now. Although I'll probably end up just getting more uh, Pepsi Max. Mmm. Mm -hmm. The fresh taste of Pepsi Max. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate uh, the tips and support. Makes me feel like I'm doing something people appreciate. path is uh it's that awful like weird mint green that they okay that's fine mint green is fine you guys This stream not sponsored by the refreshing taste of Pepsi Max, mm -hmm. but it wishes it was. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep advertising for them, and eventually they'll be like, oh, I guess we should give them money. That's how that works, right? Eventually, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Um, color intensity way down. Color way up. Okay, color not up that much. I'll figure this out. What? Oh, that's my problem. Okay, there's a nice little path. Mm, is that a nice little path? I'm not convinced. No, that is not a nice little path, you guys. Sorry to break it to you. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna blur the path in the middle. And leave a little bit of noise to the edges. That's better. Damon says, go for the Go to Seattle for Mariner games, Seahawk games, and the Uwajimaya market. No other reason to go. Well, <laughs> and all of those reasons? <clears throat> yeah. Don't cut it for us. <laughs> don't like sports. Although, honestly, uh, that Uwajimaya is cool. And my friend Dan uh, lives literally right above it. So, Uwajimaya. The, uh, Dan who? Dan from formerly of Extra Credits now. What is his channel called? I can't remember. He does amazing animation um, uh, analysis of games. Now I feel really bad. I can't remember uh, what Dan's new channel is called. Uh, 
And now I can't even remember his last name. Let's see, it was extra play. Play frame. What? Is that right? I mean, yes, that's his channel, but I thought... New frame plus. Okay. Apparently it is play frame. Okay. I'll remember that for next time. Rather? Ra oh yeah, Dan Rather. That's his name. Fort Merleo, 60 minutes. That's his channel, 60 Minutes. Okay. Are we done with this dumb path yet? No. Always more dumb paths to do. Alrighty, Aphrodite. Maybe it's just burglars. Should not have invited them in. They're like vampires. They can't come in unless you invite them. Look, now they're taking off their shoes, making themselves comfortable before they steal Hello. all our stuff. Oh, Are I did. Online? Yeah, I'm streaming right now. Okay. So we're, gonna, we're doing it live. I don't think... Get your superstar. Okay. Super guest star here. He is live. He's ready for you. Okay, so we're going to switch the channel over to uh, Telefar stuff. One second. Give us a minute. We're going to get our guest star, star all uh, mic'd up, get her through makeup and wardrobe, uh, etc., etc. Um, what is this? No. Wait, are you actually stopping the stream, or just, you're just... No, nah, just switching over on their project. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm going to replace it. Put this here for a sec. Yeah, intermission. Someone do a, a little dance across the screen and remind people to get something from the lobby. this here okay so I don't want to end the stream but I do want to stop the recording so that I can start another one video output is that what I want to do record okay. I see no button that says stop or start recording. That's obnoxious. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the stream for 10 seconds. My mom's going to appear, and we're going to start the streaming. Oh, just kidding. As soon as she gets back, we're going to, we're going to make this amazing transfer. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to get a document downloaded on my Thingy thing. 
Okay. We're going to go to another tool. This is great, you guys. This is great. We're doing it live. Oh, thanks for the jiggle dances, Ben Mortar. Alita says hi. Stop in the stream for one second. I'll be right back, you guys. <laughs> 